Le girl was the only love I've ever known She rescued me from reaching for the bottom And brought me back Being too far gone You're Tennessee whiskey You're as sweet as strawberry wine You're as warm as a glass of brandy Honey, I stayed strong on your love and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, I'm very excited to share with you another instant classic by Chris Stapleton. This is another tune off his album Traveler. It's entitled Tennessee Whiskey. We're gonna get started with the basic chord progression, so only two chords. Then, I'll break down the intro and even the guitar solo. Let's get started. Okay, close look at the fretboard. And we're getting started learning the only two chords that we're gonna be needing for this song. The first one is an A major chord. In a bar position. This means that our index finger is barred over the D, G, and B strings on our second fret, muting the high E string, playing the open A string. This, from this position, it's gonna be much easier to get to the next chord, which is called B minor. Bar in the second fret, putting the middle finger here on the third fret B string, and taking these two fingers, the ring and pinky, and putting them on the fourth frets of the D and G strings. So these are the only two chords we need in, but he does do a couple of little tricks to them, which we'll get into later. Okay, now that you have those two basic chords down, you're ready to start putting the song together. At this point, it's a good idea to head over to freephillyguitarlessons.com, my blog, and download the chord sheet that I've provided there. Okay, so over the A major chord, we're gonna be strumming. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then on the B minor chord, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Back to the A major chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the basic chord progression that transpires throughout the entire song. Okay, now that you understand the chord progression, swinging in that six eight feel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up. Ready to add in a couple of the little tricks, the rhythm tricks that Chris uses throughout the track. Okay, so a rhythm trick first over A major. If we're coming out of the B, going back to the A, you hear. All right, this is a great trick that you hear in a lot of different tunes. Basically what you're doing, holding the A chord and hammering up. Now my middle finger is on the uh, third fret of the B string as my ring finger goes to the fourth fret of the D string. Then I'm just gonna strum, down, up, down, up. 
we're going back to the A grip. That can be very tough for a beginner, so if you've never done this technique before, just start off using the middle finger. Then slowly start practicing using that ring finger. At first your accuracy will be a little off, but like anything else with enough repetition, it'll come. Okay, so that was a basic trick over the A major chord. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can try what Chris does on an electric guitar, where he takes the bar chord version of A major, bar in the fifth fret, seventh frets on A and D, and the middle finger on the G string sixth fret. Here he might play something like this. All right, so that was strumming on the, uh, the A major chord. Down, down, up, down, up, down. A down up stroke there, and then just after you've gotten done, that down up, you throw in a quick little D chord shape. This is when the ring finger bars over top of D, G, and B on the seventh fret. Then you quickly jump back to the A chord. Now I don't count this as another chord in my progression. Because it's very, very short. So once you've played that D chord, get back to your A major chord, but take the pinky off. Now it's called A7. Here you're gonna do a hammer on to the G string. That's gonna give it a bluesy feel, which kind of welcomes in different sections throughout the song. All right, now we're ready to try a quick little trick on the B minor chord. So if you're strumming along, one thing you might like to do is just do a little hammer there. Keeping the bar down, but taking all the other fingers of the chord on the one beat. One, two, three, four, five, six. One and two and three and four, five, six. All right, just to add a little bit more flavor to your chord progression. Okay, now that you've mastered those basic rhythm techniques, you can use all that you've learned so far to accomplish all of the verses and choruses throughout the tune. Now we're gonna learn how to play our intro section. Okay, getting started with our intro section. If you haven't already, head to freephillyguitarlessons.com, download the tab to go along with this, and be sure to subscribe while you're there. Okay, so riff number one is gonna sound like this. All right, so all we did there was O, two on the E string, open A string, and slide it up to the fourth fret of the A string. You're gonna hold that out and rest for a little while. Moving on to the next part, it'll sound like this. Okay, so that was a slide up to the fourth fret from the second fret on the A string. Then slide them back to two. Then the open A string. Then a nice slow slide from two to four and back to two. All right, it's at this point there's gonna be a lot of space. Very, very softly you hear him play. O two, O two on the E string. Okay, so so far we have. Riff number one. Part two. O two, O two. Next, we're ready for this part. All right, so that was a slide, slide from two to four on the A string. Nice and short. I'm putting my pick back on the string, by the way. Then a slow slide from four to two. Again, very softly, you're gonna hear on that low E string. You can hardly hear it, but it's there. And then finally, sliding from four to two, back to the second fret of the A string, and then playing the open A twice. Let's put all that together. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three.
Okay, now we're ready to tackle the guitar solo. I'm gonna take you through it lick by lick. Getting started with our intro of the A major chord. Here I'm playing the ninth fret of the G string, nice and short. Same thing on the 11th fret, nice and short. I'm doing that by taking the pressure off and putting the pick back on the string. There I am on the uh, 10th fret of the B string with the first finger. Then a nice slow bend up on the 12th fret of the B. It's great if you can vibrato that on the top. You bend it up nice and slow, and then shake it. All right, next we're gonna get into some slides. I'm gonna use my middle and ring finger, even though Chris uses his first finger, I believe. It's gonna sound like this. All right, so all I did there is go from seven to nine on the G string. Then I plucked the seventh fret of the high E string, and then both strings together as I slide back. We're gonna repeat that line almost verbatim. And then, Play seven, seven, both strings. Ah, right there I go to the A major. This is a uh, sixth fret G, fifth fret of the high E string, though I might just bar both strings here just to be on the safe side. That explains why I use my middle and my ring finger, because then I can get to that position much easier. Let's play what we have so far. play along with the track many many times before you can get the rhythm uh, but these licks are generally very simple okay kicking things up a notch with some tougher phrases the next one's gonna sound like this all right all I did there I'm gonna play it real slow for you one more time all right not too complicated we're gonna go uh, seven to nine hammer all right, it doesn't have to be a hammer though I, I prefer it. So the hammer, then I'm going seven, nine, seven. That's a D string, A string, D string. All right, put that together. All right, that brings us to a slide from nine to 11 on the D string. The uh, ninth fret of the G, and then two staccato notes on the G string 11th fret. Then I'm gonna play the B string uh, 10th fret. All right, that brings us into the next lick. This is very, very BB King uh, kind of style. We're gonna be bending the 12th fret of the B string. Then we're turning back to 12 and vibrato in the 10th fret of the B. Uh, that brings us to really sweet bends here. We're gonna widen up. Now we're going to the 13th fret of the B for two short bends. Some players have it just on the 12th again, but it sounds more like the 13th to me. Okay, notice that time I did a double tap on the 10th fret. I'm hearing that too. So make sure to one staccato, one vibrato on that 10th fret B string. Okay, the next phrase comes in after a long rest over the B minor chord. You'll hear Chris laugh as a little bit of a, a marker. It's very, very low in the track, so listen for it. All right, the lick's gonna sound like this. All right, here we're doing some double stops. Very nice, I'm gonna play it real slow for you. more time. All right, so here I'm fretting the G string, ninth fret, and the B string, 10th fret at the same time. And I'm gonna do a hammer on the G string, going up a whole step. Then go back to the original position. Now I like it with two double stops there. Double stop as I hammer, 
and double stop as they come back. Though I'm pretty sure Chris just plays the single note. Then we're gonna have a single note on the G string 11th fret. Then we're gonna slide on the D string from 11 to nine, pull off to the seventh fret. And then there we are on the A string ninth fret. All right, what we have so far of the second half. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the next phrase. It's gonna sound like this. That one's a little shorter. All right, all I did there is played seven to nine on the A string. You can be a hammer if you like. A nice staccato note on the seventh fret D string. Then I'm gonna hammer or slide. I'm gonna stick with my hammer and pull from uh, nine to 10 to nine. And then go back with a pull off to the seventh fret D string. Just like that. Okay, next we'll have this phrase. All right, so that was a hammer from seven to nine. Then I'm going back and forth between seven on the D and uh, nine on the A. Seven, nine, seven. All right, then we're ready to kick it up another notch. Playing what we have so far in the second half of our solo, where the licks get a little bit more serious. It's gonna sound like this. All that space, D double stops. All right, short lick. Then, okay, moving on to the final segment here. We're coming out of. Here we're gonna be going back up the scale, starting with the A string, ninth fret, seventh fret D string, ninth fret of the D string, and then back to the seventh fret. There I am back on the uh, ninth fret of the D string, and sliding up to the 11th. Then I have the seventh, uh, ninth fret of the G, 11th fret G. Then finally, just two more notes. I like to do a little bend here. I'm not sure if Chris does that, but it just kind of happens naturally for me. Then we're going back to the G string, 11th fret. Alright everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Chris Stapleton's Tennessee Whiskey. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be taking a short hiatus, going uh, on a honeymoon for the next couple weeks. I'll be back on December 4th. When I return, I hope to see a lot of song requests in my inbox. So if you have a song that you'd like for me to teach in the next couple weeks, click through the link at the bottom of the description and put in your requests today. Until next time, this is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.